Hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening. Welcome. Today is our class number 14. Yay. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. The third week, right? The third week. This is very nice because all the topics are related with marketing, right? With marketing. We love to purchase and maybe we are good sellers, right? So in this course, maybe we can improve our abilities to sell products or to sell our image, our own image, right? Mm-hmm. So, are you guys ready to start the class? Hi. <laughs> Hey, people, tomorrow, Friday, please don't skip the class, okay? Make <laughs> plans to be here, yes, to be present, all right? Yes, I want to see you here, yeah. And if you go out, then invite us to go with you, okay? <laughs> invite us, okay. Well... Um, <clears throat> we are talking about marketing, right? Marketing for peace, so the marketing needs. Mm -hmm. We are talking about different products because we are analyzing. And one of the purposes is to give our opinion, right? To give our opinions. And at the same time, mm, it's important that for giving opinions, we need to achieve some vocabulary, okay? We need to master some terms related to the topic. We go from the small talk to the smart talk, okay? Yeah. And the activities in a company are completely, um, let's say, integral, right? Because uh, what? the sales team does it helps the whole company right because they are going and collecting the money yeah they are doing the hard part okay they are mm, a, doing the negotiations right okay but remember what does accounting do? Mm. Well, accounting takes control, right? From the expenses, okay? And the incomes. They can be more because uh, we're going to break down, okay? So they have to be less, right? Than the incomes. And that's Profits, that's profits. So mm, they control the budget too, the money that we are using. So the general management um, is planning how to use it, but uh, the financial department is the one that uh, authorizes, okay? Mm. Uh, let's say customer service are in charge of the after sales, okay, to complete the cycle of the sales, yes. So the companies are always doing activities related to make profits, okay, to make profits. And if the marketing department makes a good marketing plan, then we're drawing the success, okay, of the company. Are you guys ready to start a class? 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Very good. A ver, ¿quieren jugar un ratito el de las cookies? ¿Se acuerdan de Who Stole the Cookie? ¿Quieren jugar un ratito Who Stole the Cookie? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm, no me acuerdo cómo era la canción. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. Yo digo un nombre. Ok. I say a name. And... We say stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Allow me to look for the slide. One second. Okay, who stole the cookie? Somebody stole the cookie. Let's play just a little while. Meanwhile, everybody's joining, all right? Okay, then here we are with a song. Mm hmm. Oh, as a listener, as a listener too, okay. I will start with Edwin, okay? Edwin stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Edwin, you there? Yes, teacher. You ask. Who? Yeah, you. The what's on me? Then who? Edwin uh, stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Boris. Boris, uh, was it Boris? Carlos. Oh, Carlos. Okay, Carlos stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Again, again, Edwin, together. Everybody, please sing. Mm. A ver, vamos de regreso, Edwin. Everybody, okay. open the microphones. <laughs> Carlos stole the cookie from the cookie the jar. Cookies jar. The mm -hmm. cookie jar. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? who? <laughs> the other Carlos? <laughs> there we have the other Carlos. Carlos Alberto. Yes? Is it okay? Okay, let's do it with Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto stole Alberto the cookie the from the Carlos cookie Alberto jar. stole the cookie jar. from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It's what thing who? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was me. Then who? Then who? Then who? You have to say a name, Carlos Alberto. Tiene que echarle la culpa a otro. Edwin. Edwin stole the cookie from the cookie, the cookie jar. jar. Cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Um, Jose stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Okay, Jose, where are you, Jose? You did it, Jose, Jose. <laughs> Which Jose? Yes, we have hooked up, but Edwin called you Miguel, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Then who? Okay, let me see. Que ver, que ver, que ver, que no ha pasado. Ya pasó Nerdo. Nope. Well, yeah. No, Nelson stole the cookie from, cookie the, cookie. from the cookie <laughs> jar. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? 
I saw the teacher Carmen. <laughs> uh -huh. Everybody sing to me. Uh -huh. Teacher so, Carmen stole the cookie, the cookie from the from cookie, the jar. cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. It was yeah, me. You. Then who? Then Jose Salvador. Who? Jose Salvador stole the Jose cookie, Salvador from, the stole cookie, the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Lorena. Lorena stole, oh, she's just a listener right now. She's just a listener, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go back. Salvador, anyone else? Because she wasn't here. <laughs> okay. Wilbur. Wilbur stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then mm -hmm. who? Boris Alexander stole the cookie from the from cookie, the cookie jar. jar. <laughs> Mr. Boris, Mr. Boris. Oh, it says it's a listener, but at the end of the, oh, 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 oh sorry, Wilbert. We don't have Boris available right now. Okay, so Alvaro stole the cookie from the Yuki jar. Alvaro? Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Um, let me see. Let me see. Carlos Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto stole the cookie from the cookie jar. From the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Um, Edwin Antonio stole the cookie from the cookie, cookie jar. jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? who? Then who? Um, Miguel. Miguel stole the stole cookie, from the, cookie, cookie from, from the cookie jar. From the cookie jar. Cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? Then who? Wilbur? Wilbur stole the cookie from the cookie, from the cookie jar. From the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Mr. Beteta stole the cookie <laughs> from the cookie jar. Yeah, but I'm not Mr. I'm Mrs. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody as Mr. a listener Mr. talk <laughs> about you, your husband, <laughs> teacher. No, no, Mr. Beteta is my Another dad. Miss. It's my dad. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Beteta. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm my sorry. husband is Molina, okay? My husband is Molina, so I'm Beteta Molina, right? And also, my mom is Molina, so I have Molina by two <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah square Molina okay well actually we did it right we did it can we close right here the game yeah we can right <laughs> yes teacher yeah. no problem okay guys I'm going to challenge you I'm going to challenge you all yeah. right aha uh -huh. I will <laughs> challenge you to read the text that we were reading, okay? Remember the O-U-G-H reading we were reading? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. ¿Se acuerdan que O-U-G-H tiene muchas pronunciaciones, right? Yes. Then we were reading a text, and it's a story. It's a... Uh, funny story, ridiculous story, maybe it doesn't make sense, but it 
takes all the words that takes this um, ending, okay? That e O U G H and the T one, okay? And the T one. So I will send right now this image uh, through the WhatsApp. And I'm not going to present it. Okay, I'm not going to present it. You follow the reading with um, your classmates. So we are going to ask one of you to read. So we are going to be maybe three, three of you. Okay, you are, I mean, there, uh, yeah, three, only three. Only three because it's kind of long, okay? But you have to read it completely, okay? I'll give you right now just 40 seconds for you to read the story, okay? Please read the story oh. silent. Mm -hmm. Well, actually you can uh, turn the microphone off and you can say it, okay? But not loudly, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to read it for your for the class, okay? Yeah, it is. And sometimes you don't know what's the pronunciation of what. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I have one question. One question. Tell me. About one word. Tell me which borrow, word. Borrow. No sé cómo. Borrow. 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 Like a, um, a, the town uh, of houses around. Yeah, like so? the neighborhood. Yeah, Bro. like the neighborhood Bro. or the town where you live. And not so though to fill his world. Mm -hmm. That part is very <laughs> confusing. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Remember, this is a ridiculous story. It doesn't make sense. You just practice the pronunciation of the words, all right? Bro. Okay, people, are you ready? No. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, 10 more seconds. <laughs> Teacher, what are you doing? Ah, right now, this is a challenge, okay? I sent the image of the story we read some classes ago. And it contains all the words with the O, U, G, H, and the T sound, okay? And you have to read it for the class aloud. So now everybody is practicing the reading. Got it, Kevin? Yes. Uh, it is in WhatsApp, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Do we jump in to the 
pond. <laughs> okay, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay, this is a challenge. You're strong in this. Okay. So everybody ready? Yes. I see Rafael. Yes. Hello. Welcome, Rafael. I feel that I'm not alone now. Yes. There you are. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, who wants to be the first one? Who wants to be the first one? I don't know, but I will try it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, we, we are not presenting the image, okay? You just read okay. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that he could find enough talk dog to fill his uh, burrow. He saw for it everywhere. When he went to the store, he bought as much as he could. While on vacation, he brought back from the neighbor cities. Things were getting rough. <laughs> and although he had a cold and bad cough, he still managed to plug through the winter as thought he were <laughs> well. Uh -huh. He continued. He continued his uh, research. He fought long and hard. He wrote night and day, and she's endeavor for enough talk talk. <laughs> Finally, after many months, he thought that his throughout throughout search uh how to come to an end and one day they did when by chance he came upon a very old tree next to the tree was an old horse throw and on the box of the tree he saw enough dog, dog <laughs> to feel bored this is the end Okay, ya me dio <laughs> Okay, great. Ajá. A ver, entre todos, digamos, ¿cómo lo hizo? A ver, ¿cómo lo hizo Wilber? Bien, no, 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 no. <laughs> ¿Eh? uh, He is a crack. 10 de 10. 10 de 10. Oh, okay. Actually, they have different pronunciations. Okay, different pronunciations. All right. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Who wants to go next? Only three of you are going to read it. So, Wilbur was the first one. Now, the second one. Who wants to read it? I uh, would like to. Uh... No sé, me gustaría decir quién. Ah, ok, go ahead, go ahead, Wilber. Yes, yes. Please, Te voy please. a castigar, Rafael. <laughs> Man, why the violence? <laughs> he loves you, he loves you, yes. <laughs> he appreciates you very much. Um, I don't know some words of okay. the paragraph. All right, like, like which ones? Uh... Once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that they could find enough thought dog to fill his borough. He saw for it everywhere. When he went to the store, he bought as much as he could. While on vacation, he brought back some from the neighboring cities. Things were getting rough, and although he had a good and a bad cold. He still managed to blow through the winter as though he were well. He continued his search. He fought long and hard. He wrote night and day in his endeavor for enough tall dog. Finally, after many months, he thought that his throat search ought to come to, a, to an end. And one day he did when by chance he came upon a very old tree. Next to the tree was an old horse throw, and on the boughs of the tree he saw an old throw to fill his burrow. The end. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Rafael. Yeah, you were really brave reading this aloud. Maybe you understand this without saying word by word, right? Maybe you, you know how this means, but at the time that we want to pronounce, these words are completely different, okay? <laughs> yeah. Jose Miguel wants to participate. Yay! <laughs> okay, there you go. Listen, listen, we are going to just give some clues, okay? Some clues. Um, there are some words that we already know. There are some words that we already know. If you underline each word that has that O-U-G-H ending, okay? Then you are going to see that some of those words are in your vocabulary already. Uh, so let 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 me go there. Let me go there. Mm -hmm. For example, at the beginning, in the first line, in the first line, everybody, everybody. Uh -huh. The first one is the past tense of think. All right, that's the meaning of this word. So it says, once upon a time, there was an English student who. Uh huh. What's the past tense of the think? Simple past. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Think simple present. Oh. No, no. I, I, yeah. Thought. Like this. Thought. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thought. Thought. Uh, be, between. It's an A. Okay. Like open like this. But it's rounded. Okay. It's an A rounded. So we will say. Uh, thought. Thought. Okay. Thought. We know that word. ¿Verdad que ya la conocíamos? Yes. We know another one. Enough. Enough. Okay? So let's read until enough. Once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that he could find enough. Ah, y tenemos otra que ya la conocemos como fuerte, como poderosa, como strong, como ruda. Tough. Okay? With the letter F. Enough. Tough. Enough, tough. And then it says dough, dough. Do you know Play-Doh? Do you know Play-Doh? Like plastilina? Yes. So dough, uh, that Play-Doh, that name comes from this word because it means masa or something that you can, uh, you mix the ingredients and that's, that's the dough. Okay, do, do, do. So let's read it again. Who thought that he could find enough tough dough? Okay, enough tough dough. Okay, pero para qué la quería? A ver, ¿cuál era el propósito? To feel his burrow. <laughs> burrow, burrow. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Uh, Though uh, is is pronunciation without f. No, no f. It's like this. Though, though, though. Okay. Yeah. Though, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is the situation. Fat enough. Tough. Though. Now, burrow. Yeah. Burrow. Burrow. And then we shout south. But this is like this one, like thought. So thought, like that, thought. All right? But, veamos que ya hasta ahí ya tenemos unas pistas, ¿sí? Y de ahí hay muchas palabras que ya conocen. Por ejemplo, although, ya lo conocen. So, ya lo conocen. Y este though se pronuncia con el mismo del do pero con diferente inicio, ¿verdad? Porque una es la D de nosotros y la otra es la TH, ¿sí? O sea, la otra es, perdón, la D inglesa, ¿sí? Do, do. En la otra, though, sacamos la TH, the, like this, though, though, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver. And José Miguel, where are you going to read? Or is there anyone else who wants to? Jose Miguel, do you want? I will try. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
But first, one word is difficult to me. Tell me which one. Yeah, borrow. Uh, you did it okay. You did it okay. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that he could find enough soul dough to fill his world. Well, he sold for it everywhere. When he went to the store, he bought, he bought as much as he could. While on vacation, he brought back some from the neighboring city. Okay. Things were getting rough, and although he had a cold and a bad cold, he still managed the blows throughout the winter as, as though he were well. He continued mm -hmm. his search. He fought long and hard. He rose night and day in his endeavor for an oath of those. Finally, after many months, he thought that his thorough search ought to come to an end. And one day it did when by chance he came upon a very old tree. Next to the tree was an old horse throw. Through. I know. Trout. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. And <laughs> on the vault of the tree, he saw enough so though to fill his burrow. The end. Very good. Very For good. Me, <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So you have to practice this. Okay, you have to practice. And this story is really funny. It doesn't make sense. This guy is looking for this dough to fill all the barrel and like, um, what for? It doesn't make sense. And then he finds out a uh, um, horse, right? And then, well, but the horse didn't bring the the enough uh, tough dough. And in a bow, he found the dough. Okay, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, good, good. All right. Bien, para cerrar esto, para cerrar esto, vamos a tratar de leerlo todo, ¿ok? Pero ustedes van a decir las palabras, ¿sí? You are going to say the words. So, once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that he could find enough tough dough. To fill his burrow, he sought for it everywhere. When he went to the store, he bought as much as he could. While on vacation, he brought back some from the neighboring cities. Things were getting rough, and although he had a cold and a bad cough, he still managed to plow through the winter as though he were well. He continued his search. He fought long and hard. He wrought night and day in his endeavor, endeavor for enough tough dough. Finally, after many months, he thought that his thorough search ought to come to an end. And one day did, when by chance he came upon a very old tree. Next to the tree was an old horse, <laughs> trowel. And on the boughs of the tree, he saw enough tough dough to fill his burrow, the end. Ah, it's kind of tough reading, okay? This is a tough reading, yes? Okay, did you notice? Did you notice? Mm -hmm. Bye, veamos entonces, así, para cerrar esto, el ciclo. Vamos diciendo ya solo las palabras, ¿sí? Pero las vamos a ir clasificando, todas las que se, se pronuncian con at. Art. O sea que tienen una T al final prácticamente, ¿verdad? Art. Vamos así, out. Out. Like this, pero no es completo cerrado. Out. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, vamos a ver. A ver, thought. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál otro? Thought. ¿Cuál otro? Bought. Brought. 
Ajá, ¿cuál otra? Fault. Well, out. Um, solo esas. Ah, rot también. Rot. Huh. Son varias. Thought, but, fought, rot, out, sat. <laughs> rot. Okay, guys. That sounds weird. Yeah, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. All right. Vaya, veamos las entonces acá, ¿sí? Y pensemos en la pronunciación, ¿sí? Hoy sí, veámoslo rapidito. Here it is. <clears throat> okay, once upon a time there was E, and let's underline this. Yes, let's underline it. A ver, ¿quieren entrar? Para ver los sonidos at. Vamos a ver, ¿quién subraya los sonidos at? Voy a hacer primero, thought. Mm -hmm. What other? Mm -hmm. Okay, here is thought again. Yes, fought and rot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have these sound enough, tough. Yeah. It's not tough, it's tough. Ahora veamos um, como es, eh, enough. Hay uno que se parece, pero es cough. Yeah, cough. It's not cough, it's cough. I don't remember if here I said through. This is through, okay? This is through. I love it. Is like verdad. No, no, no. This is uh through. For example, you go through the door from in to out. Okay. But but the pronunciation teacher through through. I know because you have to do the th sound like this, right? Th. Through. Yes, through, through. Mm -hmm. And and the true of verdad. It's truth, um, truth, but, but it's, uh, well, verdad is true. True. True, yes, true, 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 mm -hmm. true. And this mm -hmm. word? Uh, which one? This one, through. Through. Uh-huh, through. through and okay. yes, and the other is true. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Now we said enough, tough. Well, cough is similar, but the pronunciation is like oh, cough. And this is enough, tough. Uh, now let's see the other sound. Do, do. Look, we have the other. Do. This is do. Uh, bro, 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 uh huh. Although, yes, though, mm -hmm. here, though, again, right? And enough tough, yeah, right? Let's say, troll, troll. And here is like, ah, ahora tenemos otro sonido, ow, okay, ow, for example, baus, baus, eh, tenemos este otro sonido, ow, and plow, donde estaba plow, plow, do you find plow, plow, I remember plow here, 
Do, 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 do. Cloud is in there. Here, Thank here. You. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yes. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Cloud. All right. I think those are the sounds like out, uh, out, off, and what was the other? Off, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the sounds. Actually, there are five sounds <laughs> or six sounds or maybe eight different sounds. Okay, eight different sounds. I sent you a video. There you are going to uh, figure this out. Okay, you will figure this out. Also, I will share with you later the, um, the key of this. Okay, because there is a key where you are going to see which words takes what sound. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to see. Now, for sure, we are going to start a class because today we have a new topic. It's branding. Okay, branding. <laughs> I'm sorry? Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, then, is everybody ready? Perfect. Remember your requirement, I mean, the requirements from in so far, right? You have to turn the camera on, and when I call your name, you have to say present. Um, okay, instead of present, you will say one of the words. You knew it, right? You knew that I was going to ask you that. Uh -huh. So you will say the word, any word from the ones we read tonight. Okay, you ready? Alvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate? Here. Okay. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Hey, no le pedí la palabra a Alvaro, I'm sorry. Una palabra de las que acabamos de ver con O-U-G-H. Pronunciation, right? Sound. No. All right, good. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. I know she is there, but she's busy right now. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. No. Okay, no. Uh -huh. eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Mr. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Oro. Okay. Um, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Cut. Can you repeat it? Cut. Oh, very good. Hot. Good. Then Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Okay, Elias. Eulise Torres Torres. Oh, he's is a listener. All right. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fatima, are you there? No. Great. Yes. Jose Miguel, Miguel Torres Hernandez. Also. Yes. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Okay, Jose Salvador, do you can you say a word? Oh, oh, great. Excuse okay. me. Thank you, Salvador. Josman Atilio Serrano. Mm, he's not in, right? Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro. I know Karen was there. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Hello. 
Kevin Alfredo, I'm um, sorry, eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Broth. Hey, that's another word. That's another word. And it does not have the U, -G, I'm sorry, U, uh, O, U, G, H. Which one did Wait. you say? Broth. W. Oh, oh ra, rot, rot. Uh, rot. Yeah, rot. Oh, okay. Route. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I heard, you know what word I heard? Throat. Throat. Yeah, this mm -hmm. throat. Ah, that's okay, what okay. I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I said. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Cough. Can you repeat it, please? Cough. Oh, great. Uh -huh. eh, Santiago Roberto Calderona de la. I know he's there. I don't know if he's available. Wilber Alberto Perez Menendez. I'm sorry, Mendez. Barra. Okay, Barra. Okay, there you go. Uh-huh. Okay, people. So, please, I need you go around your house and find a product that you bought. Okay, that you bought one product that you bought with a logo, with the brand, something that you can recognize, and then you can explain some features of the product. Okay. No vamos a juzgar que si comprobar hasta que usted compra lo más caro. No, vamos a. Uh, analizar. We are going to analyze this. Okay. Please go ahead. Take 15 seconds. Oh, so, yeah. Vayan y traigan un producto así con any, una marca. Any product. Any product. Any product. Um, uh, uh, tengo dos, pero. Uh, Son de ayer. Oh my goodness. Es que aquí tengo la mesa a la par, entonces ahí están. Ahí han quedado. Uh, okay. ¿Qué más tengo aquí cerca? No, chicos, levántense, no sean así, vayan a la cocina, vayan ¿Vos? al baño, vayan donde sea y traigan ¿Vos algo. Un día? Oh, ok, but it's not branded, right? Is ah. it oh, good. <laughs> What? What? Oh my goodness! See. No way, guys! I can see. I know I can stand oh, well. with you guys. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, something like this, right? Something like oh, can you see? No, you can't. This, right? I don't know. Something like this. Okay. Or maybe something like these. Yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know, anything like these. Oh. Yeah. Go, please. Go, go, go. Bring your favorite uh, crackers or your favorite cookies. Uh huh. Great. Hey, great. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Rafael, yours? Edwin, yours? Medicine. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, I was uh, resolving a problem. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. It's okay. Well, we are going to talk about a very important part in the marketing plan, okay? In the marketing plan, we build or create strategies mixing the four Ps, right? Mixing the four Ps, remember. But in the business plan, the complete business plan, 
we have different other elements that we are going to um, draw. At the same time that we are creating strategies for marketing, we are also, um, a, let's say, taking in account the, um, let's say, the effects that this strategy that I am creating is going to cost in time, okay, to my company. So as a customer, we are going to talk about as a customer right now. Yes, as a customer. When you see a product like this one, a product like this one, yeah? What is this? What product is it? Sugar. Sugar, okay. Sugar for the coffee. <laughs> okay. And normally, what colors do they use for this product? The packaging. I use white. I use white. Oh, okay. Yes. You see the kind of sugar. No, I mean the colors they use in their designs. Orange. Orange. Okay. Are all the brands of sugar with the same color? Are all the designs of these packagings from different brands on the same color? Mm -hmm. no. I saw uh, other brand is blue. Other brands are blue, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, only one more is blue. Okay, what brand is it? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, you don't remember the name, but you remember the color, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tell me, women. No, uh, uh, I was saying uh, the brand, uh, oh, the no. Cañal. Uh-huh. But uh, I remember that because that, that's the one I I. I I... You consume. Yes. Okay. So yes, this is Del Cañal, right? It says right here, Del Cañal. That's the brand. Okay. That is the brand. Yeah. The commercial name. Okay. The commercial name. But now, uh, Carlos Ernesto, show us your product. Uh, my product, my mm -hmm. product is uh, a Quaker uh, <laughs> simply granola. All right. Uh huh. Uh, do yeah. you always buy the same uh, variety? The same, what? the same flavor, the same mixing. Do you always uh, buy same flavor? Siempre compra uh, el mismo sabor. Siempre. Compra el mismo sabor. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, my, it's my daughter. Uh, the, the, he's like she likes <laughs> it. And I always uh, I buy uh, the 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 same color, the oh, the okay. same product. Okay, what color is that? What color is that, guys? What color is it? Purple. It is purple. Purple. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Is it correct, yeah. Carlos? Is brown. it purple? Oh, it's brown, he says. Okay. Brown. So yeah. what's the brand of this granola, guys? What is the brand of this mm, granola? Quaker product. Quaker. Okay. And what do you know about Quaker? Quaker, right? Quaker, 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 Quaker. Quaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What can you say about this brand, guys? This brand sells many, many products to eat. Okay, edible, edible products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Comestibles, right? Edible. Mm -hmm. It's a famous brand. It's a famous brand. Renown. It's a renowned, mm -hmm. renowned, right? Renowned. Renown. Um, sorry, brand. Mm -hmm. Cereals. What other products does your mind brings up? C 
cereals and cereals and more cereals, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. I see, when I see quaker, I remember, okay, it is expensive, right? We could think it is, a, let's see, higher, a little higher than the average. And also we could see quality products, right? Quality products, tasteful or, or flavory products. Yes. So we could say good ingredients, the best, the best ingredients. Yeah. The best combinations. Yeah. That's what I can think about quicker. So now let's see. Thank you very much, Carl. Ah, let's think about the price. How much is it? How much is it in the supermarket? Um, how much? Uh, uh -huh. ten, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, it's about ten ten dollars. Is there any time that you have gone to the supermarket and you find a promotion where you can buy? two for one or maybe it's in a discount it has a discount have you ever um, i don't understand the, the the finish okay have you ever found in the supermarket a discount for that product discount uh discount uh-huh less less uh, sometimes uh, it's not found. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's not available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, regular, uh, I, I, I find. Uh, encuentro. I okay. I find, find it. it. Find it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, irregularmente hay promociones con ese producto. Um, um, no. No, uh, right. The product, no. Uh, uh, I know the Quaker, Quaker or Quaker. Quaker. Yeah, you can say Quaker and Quaker. It's Quaker. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very healthy. Yes, it is healthy. Uh huh. It's a healthy product. Mm -hmm. It's yes, the whole so, grain, no sugar food. added. Yes, mm -hmm. no preservants. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. It has those characteristics. That is why you pay the quality. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos Ernesto. Now, uh, let's see. Um, Kevin, show us your product. Yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. And we're yes. going to sing Encanto. Encanto. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Toilet paper. Okay. Uh, the brand is Encanto. Uh, okay. Uh, the logo is a butterfly. And the, the products have many colors orange, purples. The green. package, the design of the package. Okay. Yes, have attractive colors. All right. Um, and what about the price? The price is is low. Okay. Yeah, it's cheap or it's low price. It's cheap, it's cheap and very. We have many presentation. Okay. Uh, rollos. How do you say rollos? Rolls. 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 We have mm -hmm. four rolls, six rolls, eight rolls, twelve rolls. Okay. This product have uh, uh -huh. twelve rolls. Twelve rolls. rolls. Okay. Yeah. Twelve rolls. Good. And Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where did you buy it? We can buy this product in Super Selectos. All right. The supermarket. Only, su mm -hmm. only Super Selectos or any supermarket? Yeah. Uh, 
only super selectos. Oh, we okay. sell, my, my company sell the product uh, uh, to distributors. Uh -huh, and, our dis and our distributors uh, llevan uh -huh. uh, they... super selectos. Oh, okay, okay. They distribute to uh, super selectos. All right, very good, very good. So thank you very much. So there we see the price, the place. We saw the promotion kind of, right? Uh, be, because actually it is an accessible price. It's not that, it's, that it is cheap because maybe there are cheaper, uh, cheaper than those. But um, let's say um, the plain supermarket, the product, the toilet paper, and the packaging and colors are the design for the branding, Encanto. Okay, that's the name of the brand. And what else did we say? I'm sorry. Uh, no, the promotions. Uh -huh. Tell us about the promotion, sales promotion. Uh, may uh, some days uh, we have a promotion and we give eight, eight rolls for, for six rolls. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. you pay six, I'm sorry, you pay eight and take eight, six. Eight, yeah. No, no, you pay six and take eight. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. For math, I think my mind is not ready at this time. Okay, let's see. Jose Salvador, show us your product. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh-huh. That's a very um, handy product, yeah? Very handy product. More for women, <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh, for men, for uh, the headaches, right? Okay, Jose Salvador, tell us, tell us about your product. Describe your product. Tell us where did you buy it. Tell us about the price. And if you got any promotion, any self-promotion. This product is ibuprofeno. Mm -hmm. I, I think English? Okay, in English, we call ibuprofeno ibuprofen, okay? Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Ibu, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Contain five pills. Mm -hmm. We, we can, we can buy in... Drugstore. Mm -hmm. I I believe cost five dollars. Okay. Only that. Very good, Salvador. You did a good job. Hey, come on. You tell us the product. You describe the package. Ah, the package. What color is the package? It's green. Okay, it is green. And it comes in a presentation of five, right? Five pills. Thank you very much, Salvador. So now, let's see. Uh, Jose Miguel, what was your product? Or what is your product? I think <laughs> for this. Okay, tell us about your product. Well, it's um, this food, fast food. In this case, was a uh, uh, well, it's pizza. <laughs> it's a it's a brand of pizza. Uh, the principal characteristic is the well. Two characteristics: price and the is. Uh, how can I say? This this is ready faster than others. Oh, it's faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. The delivery. The delivery, or you go to the restaurant to get it. Uh, you can't eat in the restaurant. It's only delivery, or 
eh, eh, para llevar. Okay, carry out. Carry, carry out. out. It's on the delivery and carry out. Uh, okay. But a uh, uh, difference in the others, if, for example, if you go to the Pizza Hut, Papayons, or other brands, you have to wait for 15, 20 minutes for a pizza. And when you go to Little Caesars, you go to the restaurant, pay, and go. Okay, great. Uh -huh. um, always ready. And it's cheaper than others. All right, all right. Do they have good promotions? Good sales promotions? Maybe not. It's not a promotion. Or, well, depends. It, it's, the, it's always the same price. But if you compare with others, it's cheaper. And so you can uh, think that like a promotion, but okay. not really. Actually, that's the pricing strategy, okay? Correct. They they put it lower than the others to, to compete, Cor right? To compete. Correct, mm -hmm. because the, I saw a few months ago, um, I don't know if it's promotion or something different, but they have a special pizza with a design uh, related to a movie. Oh, okay. The design pizza, in the packaging or design. Oh, the pizza. The oh really? The no. pizza had the form of the bad signal, the Batman. Oh, seriously. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I didn't realize about that okay well now uh what are the media they use to promote their product well it's not a uh, common so commercials in tv it's more common is uh, here in the radio or social media Okay, thank you very much, Jose Miguel. Now, who Let wants me show to show you the pizza? Okay, go ahead. Second. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Okay. It was in the 2022. Look. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, the last year. Okay. Did you get one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the, the design. Uh, okay. Okay. Did you know, guys, about that design? No, I didn't. No, neither did I. Neither did I. So, okay, guys. Now, who wants to show your product? Veamos. Ahora presentemos nuestro producto así como. Yo lo compro. I buy this product because it is, because I need, because I want, because I like, because I love, okay? And also, I used to go to the supermarket. I used to buy this in Dollar City or in any other convenience store, okay? So, place price the product you describe the product but saying your preference okay your preference yes but i was like who wants to share the product boris are you ready oh okay open your microphone I buy this this product. Uh, I I like uh, I like my my daughter. Uh, oh, the, my I, daughter! I my daughter likes it. Okay, my, my daughter, daughter likes it. Likes it. Mm -hmm. My daughter likes it. Um, I buy in super selectos. Mm -hmm. and occasionally is a promotion, uh, two for 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 one, 
um, the in the the packet is a box is attractive the the colors for a uh, brown and green and um, picture the 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 cookies okay and what, what is the name of the product i mean what's the brand name is a rice cookie oh rice cookie yes rice cookie oh okay it seems like sanissimo is the brand okay and the commercial name is rice cookie all right very good very good presentation boris very good presentation thank you Okay, now uh, let's see. Lorena, please show us your product. Hello, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I, uh -huh. I take a cream for hair, and you can find you can find this product in uh, anyway supermarket. Uh, the cost or price is up more or less uh, accessible accessible uh -huh, three to three to four dollars and you can have the softly hair with this product all right <laughs> uh, very good the brand is pantene is for curly hair Okay, and do you prefer the curly one to the curly variety to the a straight? In my case, I prefer a straight, but I only found this. Okay. The table. <laughs> okay, it's uh, okay. It's not yours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it doesn't belong to you, but okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh, do they find find? I'm see. I'm sorry. Uh, do they offer any self promotion for that product? Yes. Um. Sometimes this product is, uh, together. Um, shampoo. Mm -hmm. In pairs. Yes. It because it's less. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. For a special price. For a yes. special price. Okay, it's not that they are uh, giving you two, two for one, but they are in, uh, in a low price. cost. And sometimes cost. It, this product is free for ah. the buy the shampoo. Oh, great. You can get it for free. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. very good. And what's the name of the product you said? Uh, Pantene. Uh -huh. Okay, that's uh, the brand. That's the uh, brand. Mm -hmm. It's free. Uh, no sé cómo se dice peinar. Uh, com. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Hey, I, it I, is, I, for... is it for your doggy? <laughs> <laughs> is he curly? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, we know. Hey. No, <laughs> so, is it a she or is it a he? It's she. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you very okay. much, Lorena. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, yeah. people. So if you see branding, it's really important. When you sew the package, for example, if you see this without the name, you know what uh, toothpaste this is, right? You know what toothpaste this is. Uh, if you see this without the brand, you know what brand this is right yes if i see the product that carlos ernesto showed um i could see that it was an american an american trademark right or an american brand um if i see uh, i don't know if you know this one do you know this one okay if you don't see the brand right here, do you still uh, recognize this product? If you don't see the brand, but you see the package, 
you see the name of the product, you see a picture of the product, do you recognize this product or the quality of this product? Yes. Yes. For all the yes, features. Yes, we do, right? Okay. Yeah, Focus. for the features. Sometimes we don't remember the brand, but that's the purpose of marketing, that we don't forget the brand, okay? So this is why branding is important because they are taking to your hand, not only the product, but their concept, their business, okay? So let's go and read just a definition of, of um, what is branding. What is branding? Because the topic tonight is exactly that. We need to learn to describe the effective branding okay the effective branding just one second because this um i zoom i zoom it too much it's a little bit more okay here we are so let's think about the branding, what is branding? That's the important thing right now. What is branding? Because we need to learn how to describe the effective branding, effective branding. Why effective? That functions, that give results, that get the results we are expecting, for, okay? So we are gonna learn how to describe the effective branding. Okay, if, the products we saw tonight, if the products we saw tonight have a brand, have colors, have logos, have designs, uh, they have um, a good price or maybe an accessible price, good sales promotion. Uh, they have also something different to feed the needs of the customers, right? Okay then. The objective is that one, to describe effective branding in a business plan. And our agenda is as it follows, okay? We are just in time to see what branding is, okay? What branding is. So let's see this light, okay? Let's see this light. Do you see my background? My, my background, everybody that plays um, this video, it's going to see that it is produced by Insafor, okay? Or for Insafor by Inglés Corporativo. We have a logo, okay? A logo right here. I have to practice this, okay? Right here. And also we have our client. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> here, okay? Yeah. So those are commercial names and you won't forget because you are part of this company as customers. Now, people out of the company, they are potential customers. So they need to see that we produce these kind of videos from courses from Inglés Corporativo. So we are branding our name or our brand, okay? So if you see these other, a, a picture I've got right in the middle. Let's think about coffee, okay? You put your logo, you put your symbols, your colors, your name, your brand, and all the visual elements in any kind of item that can get to the hand of the customer to position your brand in the mind of customers. So that's branding, okay? That is branding, the process of designing and building a brand, okay? What is branding, guys? What is branding? The process, the process, the process of designing, of designing, designing and building a brand. A brand. A brand. Exactly, exactly. But branding are all the strategies we're going to take as actions to build the image or the position of the brand and the mind of customers or 
a positioning in the market, okay? And the market are people, yeah? The market are all the people in the market or the segment we want to reach, okay? If you see a slide with this background, you will know it's from Inglés Corporativo, right? You will see because they have this design uh, from their own, okay? They designed this to uniform, to make uniform all the presentations for all the teachers. And then we are going to get a position in the mind of our customers, okay? You will recognize our brand, okay? This is branding. So to publicize the brand, that's branding, okay? To um, promote the brand with visual elements, that's branding, okay? So in the product, we have the packaging, right? We have the packaging. We have colors, designs, the type uh, of letter, the size of the letters. Uh, maybe if we have the brand in this other side, maybe it will cause a different impact. We don't know exactly until we try that, okay? So let's say that branding strategy in a marketing plan are the actions that will be carried out to publicize the brand, taking into account the design of the brand and the ch channels to publicize it. And this is a media, okay? This is a media, the packaging, yeah? The packaging itself to um, identify and differentiate, okay? And differentiate the product from the other similar products in the market. All right, let's continue. We are going to say in a marketing plan, okay? Marketing plan, but why is it important branding? Why is it important branding? Let's read first what is a branding strategy, okay? Boris, can you please read what branding strategy is? A branding strategy. In a marketing plan, the action that will be carried out to publicize the brand, talking into okay. account the design of the brand and the channels to publicize it. Publicize it. Okay, publicize, publicize, publicize it. Mm -hmm. Publicitar, okay, publicize. publicize. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to talk about some elements in the branding, okay? We are going to see some visual elements. What elements? Mm -hmm. Logo. What logo, else? Color. The color. Symbol. Symbol, yes. Communicate name. Communicative name, communicative name. name. But that's like a seal, right? Like a stamp on the product to make it different from other similar products for, or from other businesses that dedicate to the same activity I am dedicated to. So imagine, let's go back to our call gate, okay? Let's go back to our call gate. <laughs> so uh, we see colors. Red, okay, and white. That's the color of the brand, okay? That's the color of, of the brand. What about, uh, let's see, one, Toyota, Toyota. Mm -hmm. What colors do you usually see? Mm, black and white and red and white? Well, yeah. Or something. Okay. What about Pfizer? Pfizer. Blue, Blue. and Blue white. And white. Mm -hmm. And we know the logo, right? The logo has the letter S. Yeah. Um, and the letter P, like mm, a capital letter, but Pfizer, it's a letter F, a uh, lowercase one. Okay. So we see that. And let's see another one Kellogg's. Kellogg's. Handwriting, right? Handwriting is the typo. What color is the logo? Green, green, and, and white. 
Red, red. Red and white. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the, the most uh, uh, famous animal from Kellogg's in their packages? I uh, Depend. Okay. Uh huh. But the most, I said uh, the most famous. Depend. Mm hmm. Uh, tell me, tell me, which tiger, ones? Uh, tiger or elephant. Okay. Or how do you say tucan? Tucan. Tucan. Yeah. Uh, Roster? The rooster, yes, <laughs> the rooster. And you know, when my daughter was really a baby, she said, yo quiero del cereal de pollo. <laughs> so uh, we don't have a cereal de pollo. We have, and we said the, the varieties. And she said, y la llevamos hasta la cocina. We take her to the kitchen. And she said, that one. <laughs> El del pollo. Yeah. Ok. Le encanta. O sea, todos estábamos diciendo cuál era nuestro cereal favorito. Yeah. A mí me gusta el Choco Crispy. A mí me gusta el, qué sé yo, Choco Flakes. A mí las azucaritas. A mí el de pollo, dijo. <ríe> yeah, so which one is the one of chicken, right? Made of chicken. Ok. Chicken flavor. So, if we think about the colors, the symbols, and the communicative name, we are positioning something sticky, right? In the mind of the customer, okay? Uh, let's see, when, what other do you recognize here? What other uh, brand do you recognize? Intel, do you rec recognize Intel? Mm -hmm. Yes, computer. Computers. This one, do you recognize this one? Yeah. What is it? I don't um, know. Is yes, that yeah. water? <laughs> is that water? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. What about this one? <laughs> what about this one? Unilever. Aha. Uh -huh. Different products. Products. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Unilever. What about this one? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, let's see another. Honey okay. wall. Where is it? Where is it? It's oh, up left. Up uh, uh, PepsiCo. Uh, pe this one, honey wall. Yes, honey wall. And what is that? Uh, they produce so many things. Uh, like uh, security products and another uh -huh. one's like a uh, pants okay all right mm -hmm. so if you see the logo you are going to relate the logo to the brand or maybe to the commercial name of the product okay so this is branding and this is what visual elements are for okay to position your brand and the mind of customers. All right, people. So let's go to the manual and let's read a uh, conversation we've got there. We have a short conversation. Actually, we did already the, um, uh, the activity uh, from page 24, but we did it practically, okay? Because we did it already writing the, um, um, let's say the questions and the last one. So we are going to see just this one to continue with the branding, all right? Yeah, this is from unit three, but we are going to read just a little bit about what branding is because we want to describe branding, okay? We want to describe branding. One second. And after we are going to complete the 24. Just one second. You know why I can't? Ah, uh, because I have opened the other one. Here it is. I think so. 
Yeah. Okay, here we are. So we are going to read just the conversation. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad and I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has come a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. <laughs> okay, there we go. No brand. What do you think about that? Well, let's role play the conversation. Let's role play the conversation, okay? So please, Rafael is going to be Josue and Amy is going to be um, Jose Miguel. Okay. I would like to create create a brand for my environment-friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, uh, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but the songs just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand, no brand, no brand, no brand, has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Korea. Okay, yeah, because this was uh, a period, yeah? yeah? So it says you could call them no brand. No brand no. has become a it's trend for some. Okay. In Japan yeah. and Korea. Okay, people, so um, just as a manner of um, analyzing the branding strategy here, what do you think? Is it important to call a product with a brand or to relate the product with a name, a commercial name? What do you think? Um, I think it's important if you want to uh, grow up Grow up in the grow. market. Grow up. Grow up. Mm -hmm. Grow up in the market and and raise the prices or your benefits. Mm -hmm. It give you gives you prestige, right? You build the prestige with a name, okay? Because if you are buying something called no brand, is something that maybe it's an imitation or something that it is not of a good quality, right? So if you name something and build the uh, positioning or build the name or a position in the market for this product, then you will be successful, okay? Now, no brand means that all the products are the same, okay? You don't differentiate the producer. You don't differentiate the product from the other products uh, that are similar in the market. You can't uh, see um, any feature or compare the features uh, that yours has uh, comparing the same product with another product from the competition, okay? So I think it is important too. Thank you very much, Rafael. So, and now let's go to the part here where we have this exercise. This exercise is really interesting because we are going to uh, write the P corresponding to these, um, these two elements, okay? We, are go we can analyze one of these ones as an example to have an idea of what we are going to do over here, okay? What does your product do? For example, if I get Colgate, okay? If I get Colgate, then you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? Well, actually, if it is mm, a toothpaste, what will be the difference from Colgate? 
this is just an example, okay? We are going to fill this out. Nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y vamos a hacer prácticamente este marketing plan. Este es un marketing plan. Vamos a pensar esas estrategias, la estrategia de describir el producto, la estrategia de describir eh, correctamente en qué lugares lo voy a distribuir, eh, la estrategia también de eh, el precio, the pricing, y la estrategia de promoción. Como les digo, pueden tomar como ejemplo así como hemos hecho con los productos que hemos visto, ¿sí? Pueden agarrar uno de los que ya hicimos aquí en la clase y nada más ponerlos en papel en el manual, ¿verdad? O lo pasamos para acá, ¿verdad? Lo pasamos para acá como en una presentación pequeñita. Y luego, cuando regresemos, vamos a hacer la presentación. Así que usted tiene que esforzárselo más porque puede ser que sea el sorteado, ¿verdad? Ok. Let's go to the breakout rooms. ¿Sí se entendió lo que íbamos a hacer? La verdad es que no mucho, teacher. Ok. Page 24. Let's go to page 24. Ok. I will... I will. Okay, I will send this through the WhatsApp chat. Somebody's typing here, that is why I can't do this. Hmm. Okay, ahí en la página 24, Todavía no se ha enviado, permítanme, no lo pude copiar. Está como la guía de lo que vamos a hacer. Leamos la instrucción. La instrucción dice, one second. Bueno, voy a enviar toda la página. Okay, let us read the instructions. Instruction says that you will create a marketing plan as a record, right? And uh, you are going to define the strategies you are going to get with a product. Voy a pasar a español de regreso, okay? Dice que vamos a hacer un marketing plan. Ese marketing plan, acuérdense que está definido por el marketing mix. ¿sí? El marketing mix, ¿se acuerdan que son los cuatro elementos? Placement, price, promotion, and the product. Entonces, vemos por acá que tenemos como una guía que tenemos que completar con estas four P's acerca de un producto. Acá nos pide que sea un producto nuevo, miren. Pero también podemos crear el plan como de un producto que ya existe, ¿verdad? Bien, vaya, vamos a ver. Podemos usar los productos que ya hemos visto aquí en la clase. Entonces, por ejemplo, en la número uno dice, you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? ¿Ok? What does your product do? Ah, entonces esto se refiere como a la estrategia que voy a usar de describir el producto, ¿sí? Entonces, aquí le podemos poner, si fuera este, Colgate, ¿verdad? Y si no, un nombre creativo, ¿sí? Un nombre creativo si lo voy a crear. Bien, ¿qué hace tu producto? Ok, it's for mm, cleaning the teeth, ¿ok? Eso es lo que hace mi producto. So, how much does your product cost? Es lo que estábamos hablando ahora, ¿verdad? Well, this one costs $2. A ver, ¿dónde yo lo compré? ¿O dónde lo venden? Ah, lo venden en Dollar City. Where will you sell your products? Okay, Dollar City. Convenience stores, supermarkets, etc. And then it says, how will you advertise the product? Who is your target customer? 
Who will you adver uh, how will you advertise your product? Okay, I will advertise these in billboards and the newspaper and the brochures of the, I don't know, any inform informative. On uh, TV? Yeah, on TV, good. Mm -hmm. On the radio, well, on TV because it's visual. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, and also by social media. All right, then that's what you're going to write here. But you are going to, when we come back, you will present your a marketing plan that you are going to create with your marketing mix. Hoy sí, me pasé otra vez a inglés, ¿verdad? Yo quería decirlo todo en español para que quedáramos en entendido. ¿Pero sí se comprendió? Yo estoy hecho. Ok. Please join your rooms. Por favor, únanse a los grupos para que aunque estén de oyentes puedan escuchar lo que sus compañeros están haciendo. Um, okay, um, there's one, we need to choose one product. <laughs> Aquí está el Nescafe Clásico. Ah, yo quiero café. <laughs> <laughs> Una cafetería y vean. Hmm. Ahí está el producto, eh. Ya que estaban diciendo de, de café. There's not a bad idea. A los que les gusta el café. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not everybody, but. Ok. Mm -hmm. well. Podría ser un café saborizado. Tipo. Ah. ¿Cómo así? Eh, a coffee with maybe vanilla or chocolate or eh, mm -hmm. everywhere. Uh, the uh, teacher, the teacher said that uh, divide the part. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Yes. We need to divide the content. Hello, how's it going? Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos Ernesto. How is it going? Uh, I, I, I don't know yet. 
Okay. Ke uh, el producto de Kevin was good. The product of Kevin ah. was good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you have good. Kevin and you have also Salvador. Here is Fatima and Eulisa is as a listener. Okay. Okay. All right, people. Kevin, mm. are you there? Um, the teacher, give me a, a little, uh, a minute, please. All right, all right. Entonces, a usted le tocará, Carlos Ernesto, con, puede presentar la, la granola también. Ok, sí, hágalo basado en la granola. Imágenes. Ah, ok, okay. good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bye. decir from por decirlo así ¿verdad? from twenty dollars to twenty five dollars por decirlo que hay diferentes precios es lo que yo pienso ¿verdad? bueno okay. sí, yes, eh, por por de eh, cantidad de piezas ah. por cantidad de piezas es el precio ah por the amount of pieces excuse me eh, for the amount mm -hmm. of pieces. Yes. For the amount of pieces. Yes. For the amount of pieces. Thank you. We, okay. will you. Will you use any special price strategies, coupons, sales, events, etc.? Mm, events. I chose events. Explain how. Uh, I don't know. I give a, I will give a, for example, a 100 pieces a, to any chill who want, who will, who would a game the, with Lego and and who uh, create the most uh, interest uh, uh, I don't know what what would be the the world the create who created the, the most uh, beautiful things he would uh, win a uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. The uh, let's say the most <clears throat> interesting buildings or figures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, the figures. The, the more the more interest figures he would he would win a, a prize or premium. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, do I have to write all of them? Okay, you could say, for example, we will um, implement events, right? Events as, a, as an strategy to uh, maybe an example will be, um, uh, let's say again, a um, a contest, a contest where children compete for the for some, a uh, let's say premium products, okay, as prices. Compete. Mm -hmm. No, compete. 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 Mm -hmm. Compete to get or for mm, premium product prices. Okay. Premium product. Yeah, prices with the letter Z, como trofeos, okay? Prizes. 
o premios. Yeah. No, no, no. Instead of the letter C, mm. uh -huh, mm. the letter Z. That. And also premium is with the letter E instead of the letter I. What we say? Pre. P R letter E. Uh, here? No, no, no. P R E M. P R R E M. E. P. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. R. Uh huh. E. Ah, okay. There you go. You got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, teacher. Nice. <laughs> what you said at the product and um, toy and store online in the supermarket, Teleptos, Walmart, and it would be wrong. in the park. The park is from uh, is from a uh, for a family, and it's free also. Because toy stores, the store. toy store, toy stores, toy store, jugueterias, toy, Jugueton. yes, mm -hmm. toy stores, mm -hmm. not toy story, right? Toy <laughs> stores. <laughs> they sound similar. Yes. Yes, they do. Continue, people. Okay. Something else? Hi. <laughs> surprise. Okay, uh, my mouth was watering. <laughs> <laughs> I say that when coffee. Okay, people, are you ready now? We are a million, a million <laughs> presentation. At the middle of the way, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, but let's see. Mm, you're advanced, okay? 
Let's see your events. So let's call the group of Alvaro, Elias, Boris, Rafael, and Wilber. It was the last one. Ah, ahorita, no fue ahorita. con intención, sino que agarré de abajo para arriba, okay? No, no, okay. no, no. I don't think so. Yes, okay. please, <laughs> please, <laughs> believe me. I'm <laughs> very stranger and suspicious. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Mm, perdón. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, the first one says uh, you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? Uh, we choose uh, Legos. Lego. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does your product do? Uh, this entertainment. It's an entertainment. Entertainment. Sorry. Entertainment the children. Help to your children to model skills. I don't know if somebody else wants to read. Okay, just complete the presentation mm -hmm. where it says letter A, then you have to write your product, right? What's your product? Your products are building blocks, right? Building blocks. Okay, or blocks. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it? Aquí donde dice en la letra A, vamos a poner lo que dice product and service, ¿verdad? El product mm -hmm. es building blocks. Building Son blocks. bloques de construcción, pero como decir de armar, ¿verdad? Ok. Mm -hmm. And letter B. Ok, you tell me. <laughs> A letter B. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Letter B. What do you think? If we talk about money. Price. Yes. Price. The price. Mm -hmm. So the pricing is strategy. Ok, price. Mm -hmm. And then the letter C. Product. Uh, where will where where will you sell your product? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Remember to distribute. Placement. Yes. Place. Yes. Mm -hmm. And number, uh, I'm sorry, letter D. Promotion. Promotion, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, promotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. The, uh, the price. How much does your products cost for the amount of the piece? Of pieces. Mm -hmm. The pieces of pieces. Mm -hmm. of pieces. Will you will you use a special price strategy? Uh, is um we will implement events where the children com com compete, compete compete where the children compete to the get premium product price prices prices mm -hmm. okay people who will present the placement Following. The following. Yes, please continue. Okay, the no, placement. Okay, wait a bit. Okay. Uh, where will you sell your product? Uh, we are thinking about it on uh, in Toy Stories. Stores. Ah, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> what we were we were talking about. Yes. Uh huh. Toy Stores. Yes. Uh. Where will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customers? 
with so uh the first down. Okay, at first. All right. First. And who's going to present the promotion strategies? Rafael, are you there? Okay. Boris? Okay. Promotion. How will you advertise the product? Yes. Who is your target customer? Children. Okay. Vamos a hacer un poquito las correcciones por acá. What does your product do? Entertain. El verbo sería entertain. Entertainment is the noun. Okay, so entertain. Entertain. Mm -hmm. The children help to your uh, children motor skills, etc. And to answer the question number seven, it says, how will you advertise the product? It's not a, you're answering yes because it's not a direct question. So it's an information question. So you will say uh, the media you are going to use or the advertising strategy. For example, you will say through mass media, uh, through social media. Um, you will also say announcements um, on the newspapers. Okay. So that's the way to advertise the product. Uh, and that's the way to deliver the messages to our customers, okay? For make them, uh, or to create the awareness of our product, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but through goes THR, okay? THR. Okay, through. Mm -hmm. Through social media, through the mass media, through newspapers, um, magazines, wherever you want to use. Okay, that's your uh, promotion channel. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. People, it's 10.04, so prepare yourselves for tomorrow. Okay, you will present your marketing plans. And uh, tomorrow we will be uh, practicing or reviewing all the content. And we are going to reinforce this marketing plan, okay? And as I was saying, guys, today, today's turn, it was for Karen, if I don't remember wrong. Ahora le tocaba, creo que a Karen, ¿verdad? No. Oh, le toca a Kevin. Okay, Kevin Alfredo, do you want to stay the 10 more minutes after the class? Yes, teacher. It's All okay. right. All right. No problem then. Uh, see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow and have a very good night. Oh, good night. wait, 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 wait. The attendance, attendance. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. Yes. Es que ya había visto que ya son las 10 y 4. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yo que hoy los quería sacar bien rapidito. Va, vamos a ver. Pues sí, porque siempre nos agarra un poquito a la tarde. Entonces yo dije, hoy oh, sí vamos a salir 10 en punto. 10 o'clock. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you be here. Please. <laughs> Attend class tomorrow, guys. Attend class. Uh, Teacher, teacher, uh, tomorrow uh, I will be like listener because I uh, after of my work I'm going to Santa Ana. Oh, okay. And I was. I, you um, have to go drive. I will be. I will be driving. All Sorry. right, no problem. It's okay. Thank you for letting me know. And remember yes, to sir. keep your eyes on the road. Okay. Yeah. I can't uh, connect uh, tomorrow because uh, I have a dinner for the. For the job in the company with, uh, with the customers oh with customers okay yes. okay well it will be only one uh one class right so i think it's not going to affect you so much you need to get the 80 percent remember that okay de ahí para allá ya no me falte rafael pero solo una le, le queda solo una era verdad no ha faltado a otras, o oh, sí, Rafael. 
No, vea. Claro, sí, eso. <ríe> ok, no problem, no problem. Remember, 80%. Tengan eso en mente. Miren, yo de veras que me voy a poner muy triste si después, imagínense, solo de 100 es mis alumnos acá y que vayan a perder la convocatoria porque no llegamos a la attendance. Pero está bien, no lo digo por usted, Rafael. Aprovecho el momento, pero no lo digo por usted. Usted es muy responsable. ¿Ok? Bien. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Presente, ya. Okay. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate, perdón. Here, present. Okay, okay, good. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. I'm here, sure. Okay. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Good. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. I'm here. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present, teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Okay, thank you, Elías. Eulice Torres Torres. I know he's a listener, right? And Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Josman Atilio Serrano. Uh, Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Ok. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Ajá. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Ok. Bien. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here and see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Everybody, please don't skip Friday class. Be here, bye -bye. be present. Okay, bye bye. Good only night. Rafael, bye, only good Rafael good is not coming. Okay. Good night. Have a very good night. Sleep tight. Okay. Teacher, Hello, I, Kevin. I was in, in class about the quantifiers and I would like uh, you, if you can explain me this class. Uh, okay. Okay, let's I look at the explain. slides. Mm -hmm. All right. Just one second and allow me to get there. Here they are. I will send a picture through the WhatsApp chat, okay? And here it is. This is a picture just to visualize the countable and non-countable nouns and the quantifiers we use for each kind of nouns, okay? Um, if you go to the picture, you will see um, that there are some, that, some nouns that are both countable and uncountable or non-countable. So we've got to be careful about the nouns that can be countable or uncountable at the same time because it's in the context where we are going to get the meaning or how we are going to use a quantifier, okay? So if you see over there, we say iron, we have material, and then we have the electrical appliance. So if it refers to the material, it's an uncountable noun. And then if it refers to an electrical appliance, then it refers to a, an item, a thing. So I can count the iron, irons. So um, is this where we must be um, careful, okay? With the quantifiers. I just sent that 
picture like like a guide okay like a guide but let's look at the um, the slides where uh we have this quantifiers because this is for count nouns for small quantities small quantities so i can count one two three four and maybe for some uh, items we could say few computers or a few computers i can count the computers so i can say a few computers in a positive sense but few computers means that you don't have enough computers okay that amount is too low okay so it's not what you really need in a negative sense few okay but a few means a positive thing that you have computers enough yes i have a few i don't need any more yeah because i have a few i can uh, i can do the task i need to do with the item i have Okay, with the items I have. So small quantity for count nouns, a few. A few, if we say chickens, for example, yeah, a few chickens in a farm, for example, in a farm, you would say, do you have chickens in your farm? Well, I have a few. A few could be also like a, a group of chicken that you can count like 20, 20. yeah. <laughs> You, yes, 20. And you will say, oh, but that's not too much for a farmer, for a farmer. But for us, it is a lot of chickens, okay. right? But for a farmer, 20 is a it's few. Rel it's relative. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But a few makes sense in a positive way, okay? But few in a negative, in a negative sense, okay? Few that you don't have enough of something mm. for example i could say i have a few cups of coffee for the attendants okay um i can use but i'm using two things here cups it's countable but coffee is not countable okay so a little coffee yeah a little coffee but a few cups of coffee small amount little little is for uncountable things uncountable yes i have it right here uh -huh. with the non-count nouns and for small quantities we have little a little a bit a little bit a tiny bit okay so little un poco a little Uh, un poco menos, yeah, que little, yeah. And I say a bit, ah, uh, a bit is un poquito, yeah. A little bit, un, un poquitito, yeah. And a tiny bit, ooh, for una miseria, okay. So a tiny bit is really infamous, okay. So we could say for a small amounts. For example, amount, teacher, a tiny bit. A tiny bit, well, it's used in computers also, right? Because the amount of the pixels and those kind okay. of storages, it's bits. But um, bit, bit is also used for, um, let's say, um, a tiny bit, like a crumb, a crumb the crumbs. Uh, I can't show you because I don't have right here. Las limpias un ratito. Pero eh, the crumbs. Las miguitas de algo is a tiny bit. Why are you worried about the crumbs, right? But las migas. It's just relative, a tiny bit. Relative, we can think mm -hmm. the los pozolitos yes. are countable. Yeah, but they are not. And what we can, and what we can difference, different, different, uh, Things countable or things not countable. Countable. Well, it's completely different concepts in English than in Spanish. Okay, they differ. They differ. Um, 
Por ejemplo, nosotros podemos decir un papelito. ¿sí? Lo hicimos chiquito y todavía decimos uno, dos, tres papelitos. En Spanish, nosotros contamos. But in English, we can't count paper. Okay? We could say a little piece of paper. Okay? A little or a small piece of paper. Yeah? Um, we could say as, uh, a little of paper. You cannot count because it's not exact. A little of paper is not exact. Pero son más poquitas de las que podríamos necesitar o probablemente solo eso queda, a little paper. Pero a little paper no se refiere a un papelito. Es un concepto muy diferente que en español. En okay. español nosotros decir a little paper, ah, se nos figura según nuestro concepto, ah, un pedacito de papel. No, it's not like that. A little paper significaría que tengo, eh, que Unas 10 hojas y no me alcanza. Ok. Okay. I'm out of paper. And for example, if I say a little of milk, okay, or a little milk, a little milk, so it's not enough for my portion or for your portion or for both of us. It's not enough. So we could say a little milk, non countable. Yeah. Eh, hay otros, eh, pero nosotros sí podemos decir, bueno, hay una leche. Yeah. Hay una leche. Pero una leche nosotros, o una agua, decimos nosotros también, ¿verdad? Hay un agua. Eh, pero nos referimos al vaso o al contenedor, porque el agua en sí no es contable. ¿Lo podemos medir? Sí, lo podemos medir. Pero entonces, ¿qué contamos? Los litros, los, las cantidades, ¿verdad? O las medidas. Eso es lo que contamos. Eh, entonces, los conceptos son muy diferentes. Por ejemplo, quiero ver, para nosotros... Mmm, Sí podemos decir un dinero, los dineros, podemos decir, porque diferenciamos que este dinero lo voy a destinar a esto y este dinero lo voy a destinar a este otro. Entonces tengo dos, tres dineros en mis manos. But in English I can't say that. Okay, I have to say, I have two different money, no monies, money. Okay, amount of money. Yeah, amount of money. Um, um, Sí decimos en español poquito dinero y bastante dinero. ¿ya? Eh, es un concepto relativo que se parece, solo en eso nos difiere, ¿verdad? En contar los dineros. Eh, de ahí, ¿cuál otro le podría poner de ejemplo? No, ahorita no recuerdo. Pero hay cosas que en inglés son contables, para nosotros no son contables. Y hay cosas que en español... Nosotros sí las contamos y en inglés no. Entonces hay que borrar nuestro concepto y a medida vayamos encontrando eso en cualquier lectura o lo escuchamos, hay que, hay que ponerlo como una, en el nuevo concepto. Okay? ¿Ok? So, little, a little, a bit, a little bit, a tiny bit. ¿Ok? For non-count and small quantities or a small amount. Now, We have also the count and non-count nouns, okay? For the count and non-count nouns, for large amounts, we have a lot of, lots of, plenty of, enough, some, or nothing. No, okay? No. For example, I could say a lot of products, okay? Lots of products. They are the same. A lot of and lots of. They don't refer too much. You can use them. Uh, I could say also a uh, lots of houses around in my neighborhood. Okay, there are lots of na uh, of houses mm, in my neighborhood. Mm, let's say there are plenty of soap. Okay, the uh, we could say uh, no, there is because okay, soap is non countable. So I can say uh, there is. Plenty of soap. Soap, this, right? Soap. Okay. Pero plenty, plenty es eh, muy similar a enough. Okay. Tengo bastante o probablemente tengo más de lo que necesito. Yeah. When I say plenty of. Plenty. Y decimos plenty, no plenty. Uh -huh. And then enough is the right amount. I have 
enough paper. Yeah, I have enough um, air. Yeah. And then let's say some. Some is for countable and non-countable. For example, I could say I have some pencils. I have a, some bread. Okay, tengo algo de pan. Yeah, o tengo algunos lápices. Yeah, so I can say that too. And let's say, no, I have no pencils. Okay, I have no bread. All right. So I can use for count and non count. And then we have the non count for large amounts. We have, um, let's say much hate, <laughs> mucho hate, yeah, much hate. And the social media, in the social network, we receive much hate. <laughs> yeah, non count, large amount. A uh, great deal love, a uh, great deal love could be a big number of something um, or a big amount, mm, let's say. Uh, deal is trato. Sí, es una traducción también. Es una, sí, es un concepto. Pero también en este caso, a great deal love es como okay. un gran número de. Realmente este deal okay. en este caso sería como número, o sea, como cantidad. Yeah. No sería como exactamente trato. Okay. Eh, a great deal of something you bought. I don't know, maybe a great deal. Oh, I can't think about right now. Allow me to uh, look for some examples. All right. And then I will tell you right here to use a great deal of iron. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, let me check. I need to find out some examples. Uh, great. Ah, you can look it up uh, writing in the browser, a great deal of use in a sentence or use a great deal of in a sentence. I have a great deal of respect for my supervisor. Very good. Uncountable. You see, we cannot count one respect to respect, right? I have another one here, a great deal of information. Yeah. A great okay. deal of research also. Yeah. Let's say a great deal. Ah. There are some variations when we say, for example, the some nouns like uh, rheumatic uh, would be rheumatism, rheumatism. Uh, you won't say a great deal of, a great deal from rheumatism. Okay, from. Porque ahí estamos hablando de un padecimiento, ¿verdad? Padece de un, una gran rheumatiz. Okay, so that's what, mm, let's say. Ah, here we've got, we've got a very good sentence. I will copy and I will, uh, and also, I, uh, no, aquí podemos ver great deal en esta como el significado que usted me decía. Okay. Eh, de un eh, trato. Yeah. So if you read it throughout the process, Parliament contributed a great deal and also gained a great deal. Okay. There we are not talking about amount. We are talking about el un trato buenísimo. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's the difference. If you see in the context, it's completely completely different. Okay. Hey, look, untapped, untapped. Let me check. 
this is really interesting when you look for something you want to uh, make clear or make like clearer in the net because you have a lot of information and then you have to make the scheming here. I said top, I'm topped. Ah, okay. Now I got it. So I will write this one. Uh, copy and paste. Just one second. Uh, sentences. Okay, here it is one. It says, no question. And it's like a quote. It's like a quote. So allow me to share this with you. And you can read it. Okay, please read it. No questions. The nation offers a great deal of un, uh, untapped mm -hmm. opportunity for wars, mm -hmm. makers in the terms of location and expertise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So untapped is como inexploradas, como in, eh, que no han sido explotadas. Mm -hmm. And it's talking about a very mm, a specific a great deal of specific thing. thing. Yeah, but a great deal of opportunity. Yeah, opportunity is uncountable. So this is okay. what where we use a great deal of. Okay, and okay. I think that was the last one from those that we saw in the in the manual because in the manual we have a list too, and this list is separated by countable and non countable too, and also we have some examples right there. So allow me to get there, and I will show you because sometimes. Uh, you are going to find this out. Maybe in other in other books or something. But here we've got this a uh, very explained. Okay, so let me show you. This is on page fifteen in your manual. And thirteen. Fifteen. 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 Yes, this one. If you see how to use quantifiers, then you see. Non-count nouns and count nouns. So you can guide by this chart. A little, a lot of, uh, okay. some, okay. much, a great deal of, plenty of, and no. And then we have the noun, time. It's not a known count noun. Then um, a few, um, a lot of, some, many, plenty of, and no hours. Or for hours. Okay. You can count hours but you cannot count time so the same is with money you can count the coins the bills but you can't count the money the money okay, okay as uncountable so there you can go over these exercises and you will find the three mistakes okay uh related to the quantifiers all right puede hacerlo usted después ahí para eh, ubicarse yes, más yes. o menos como le como siguiendo esa ese chart, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Are we okay so far, Kevin? Yes. Es, okay. es, es todo. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you just just will need some more practice in exercises. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can guide through those, uh, through the chart. Okay, through the chart. And also with the picture I sent, you will see countable and non-countable and the difference between them. Yes, I, I'm going to practice uh, the quantifiers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the video, you will find the exercises with did that. Time. Okay. Oh, allow me to see if I can get one from here. If I have one. Mm, no, I didn't relate it. I didn't relate it. <laughs> no, not here. No, not here. Not here either. So it is in the lesson plan. I'm sorry. No. 
I didn't have it handy. So if I find any of those that we did, I will send the, the, the link, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, no problem, Kevin. Then see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher, thank you. Bye-bye, have a very good night.